It's recording now. I don't think any of that was recording. Right. The situation as it stands is... Well, we've got this tripod made out of Lego for a start because I'm currently in Ireland and one of the conditions of coming on the holiday was that Ollie would have to just put his laptop away for a little while. Oh. Found a box of Lego, was delighted with that and decided to create what he's calling Wayne Tower. And I put my camera on it and was about to film and realised I had no SD card. So I was filming on my phone and then the battery ran out of my phone. And then I got Ollie's phone and now we've been recording on that. So we've been sitting here talking for a good two hours. It hasn't been two hours. <laughs> it feels like it's been like about 30 <laughs> minutes. So now we're actually Snow. recording. Welcome to Tipsy Talk, season two, with my guest, Helen Hayes. Hi. Who is also, as it happens, my mother. Welcome, Helen. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Helen. How are you today? Fine, we've done that <laughs> five times. But you're getting into the groove now, you're getting into... I'm beginning to understand what goes on, and it's a lot of hard work. Thank you, it is. It is a I lot of I have to sit on a sofa, I have to drink put a camera wine, there, I have to drink tea. tea. I'm, having, I'm having a cup of Lions tea. Not sponsored, but fair play to you anyway, Lions, for making a good so cup of good tea. So good yesterday, you want to bring your Lions oh tea Oh my back God, home. I'd forgotten how good it was. Yeah. Helen <laughs> also featured in a video called How Not To Make Out How Not To Make Out. If you haven't seen it. It wasn't my fault. I know it wasn't no, your it fault. Wasn't we were fault. distracting you. You know, we don't measure things. The Irish mummy knows how to throw everything into a bowl and just come up with an apple pie. Yeah, but what the Irish mummy is supposed to do is put sugar in the apple pie. Ah, you but didn't. that was because of all the confusion in the kitchen. Oh, we just I we, see, we forgot I it. We, you started to film and it, it, it made me all nervous. Then I knew I was being on camera and I. You are. <laughs> <laughs> today was a really, really very, very special day. Today, my eldest granddaughter, your eldest niece, mm -hmm. Grace, Grace, had her confirmation day today. She did. And my dad, Hazel's granddad, and Grace's great grandfather celebrated his 93rd birthday. Yeah. And one of his friends, Carmel, is mm -hmm. an absolute avid fan of yours and oh. she loves watching your YouTube channel. Hi, Carmel. And she tells Granddad, everything that you're doing, including the super brainy zombie super movie. Brainy zombie. I love the guy that tried to attack the guy with the little bunch of flowers. That's Chris. Ah, he, yeah, he's brilliant. I he, and then trying to. Did you see the gas thing that he had? That I know he, we used to have one of them. In we, it's still there. No. It's still up in the house. We used to take it to the beach. Yeah, and, I, and I used to bring down the pan and the sausages and That's the where chewing sand comes from, by the way, is Irish holidays on, on the, beach. the beach. Yeah, when you end up with sand and your hang sang, it just... How could anybody think it, it was chewings and... How are you? I'm good. You well? I'm getting better. Yeah? Yeah. Well, are we saying what you're getting better oh, from? Yeah, I would say... I, I'm, I'm fine with anything I could you. You've been a bit unwell, shall we say. Um, yeah. Had an organ removed, shall we say? I have. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I suppose you go your whole life, and every once in a while you get the phone call, don't you? And I was in Wanstead Tube Station. I get the call, and the mother on the other end of the phone. And I says, Hello. And she says, Where are you? I'm in a train station. Are you on your own? All right. So either somebody's died or somebody's sick or something's wrong I says what's wrong Helen no no nothing just um is Ollie with you no Helen what's wrong no no you go on home and I'll give you a reaction <laughs> no you can't do that you can't do that and I'll throw into the mix we'd had a rough year let's leave it we'd had a bit of a rough year and then you get the call <laughs> and then she says I need a kidney out and I'm standing in the middle of a train station I started laughing! <laughs> of course you need a kidney out, Ellen, because what else could possibly go wrong at the moment? And I said, are we dealing with the C word? And you said, yes. And I said, grand. And then I hung up and I went to the shop and I got some spinach. <laughs> it's a full of iron. <laughs> <laughs> and I was musing over a spinach purchase when Ollie found me in the shop, just standing there with <laughs> I don't know how long I'd been standing there with the spinach and he comes over to me and says, what are you doing? I'm buying spinach. Are you all right? No. No. <laughs> no. I think the worst part of it was the shock of 
the actual being thing told. itself being told. Going through the procedure and going through the illness and all of that was just a matter of fact. I went through it, mm -hmm. dealt with it. Mm -hmm. Everyone was amazing. Everybody they were, they were very good. So good. It was a little bit weird sort of tweeting and blogging and going about my daily life. And pretending that all this wasn't and not happening. Say, yeah, not saying. It's something I hadn't really talked about on the channel before, but it does happen and it is scary. And when people's parents or family or whatever get ill, it's a bit shite really. But you get Bad through. Word. Bad word, but it is shite, mm. to be fair. But uh, no, it, it's possible for it to all work out very well. And I think that's the message. Yeah, the story is, it's all good now. Everything yes. is absolutely yeah. good. I'm getting back to normal. I dropped a load of weight. Friends, Which is great. If you ever want to go on a diet, have a kidney out. <laughs> Some people go through any lens just to lose I a bit of weight. I wonder what the kidney itself weighed. How big is it? About four by About two? the size of it. Four by two? Is it? Yeah. It's the size about, of a fist, but, I think. Oh no, that's your heart is the size of a fist. It's about that size. It's about that size. You're just making shit up. It's overly shaped. Well, it's a kidney shape, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Kidney beans. Of course. Beans. Oh. It's terrible. We are not in any way condoning <laughs> having vital organs no, it was, for it, weight loss. Talking about weight loss, I saw an awful ad on the telly last night for these weight loss tablets. I know a girl oh God, what? who said she went on these weight loss tablets. I know what you're going to tell me. It wasn't good. No. Anal leakage, is that what? Anal leakage. There's these tablets, and it says on the packet, may cause anal leakage. That's not really something I want to experience while it's on my diet. She may as well have just paid a visit to the bathroom and stayed there. <laughs> They're all what do you do with that? They don't let the body process fat. So effectively, you just can't eat fatty foods. And if you do, may God have mercy on your soul. It just dog. comes straight. It just kind of goes straight through. I'm on a diet at the moment, I'm on Weight Watchers. Sometimes people want to lose a few pounds. They want to feel better, look better, feel healthier, be fitter. I'm going to the gym more and I'm trying to eat better, although all my Instagrams are okay, kind of prove otherwise. What? I don't think I that. don't think I want to take tablets to make myself thinner and I don't think anything should be doing. That. I don't think there is a tablet. No. And that's been Tipsy Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy that? Absolutely. A little insight into my world. A little insight. Fascinating. Can I say it or shall I? Shina will. Slán a good glare. Slán. Benairi on Boberla. Turn it off. Goodbye. <laughs>